I mean, I think the most important thing is that you must have, at least for myself, I think, a passionate desire to understand, um, in my case, how biology works and how cells work. So, so without that passion, without that being really, really important to you, um, then I think everything else is, um, won't work. So, 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 so you, you, know, you really need to be almost driven to um, understand and be passionately interested in um, understanding. I think also you have to feel that what you're doing is going to be useful. Um, you know, it may not be immediately useful, but, but um, it's been very important for me to feel that the discoveries that we make as a field um, and that I may contribute to are, are ultimately going to lead to um, you know, better understanding of how human beings work and how to treat disease. So, so, so I think um, for myself, you, you really need a kind of passion. For, uh, and then I think the, other, the, the, the next thing is to not be scared of trying new, new things. So, so um, my experience of when I'm most creative is, is, is when I, I get into a new field about which I might not know very much. Um, but, but when you come into it uh, newly, that, then you can see what's missing that, 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 that other people who are real experts in that field may not notice because they're so so taken up with the um, detailed work. Um, and, and by the same token, I think, it, for me anyway, it's very important for creativity to talk a lot with people who um, have a slightly different interest from yourself. And, and many of um, my breakthroughs have, have, in fact, been due to collaborations with other people and um, who have different areas of expertise. So, um, so I think you need passion and I think you need to um, move into new fields and I think you need to talk to people who, um, who have different points of view from yourself. One of the most profound breakthroughs, perhaps the most important breakthrough in biology that was ever made was Charles Darwin's um, theory and then proof of evolution. And, and I think there's probably nothing so important to human beings as to understand where we came from. How, how did we um, evolve on the planet? What are our origins? You know, I find it a, 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 a wonderful question how, how this pro process of um, evolution has given rise to the human species. And, the, and then at the same time, it reminds us that we're not alone on the planet, that we share the planet with many other species and, and, and that we depend on many other forms of life for our well-being. So, so biology, I think, can tell us a, little, a bit about our origins and where we came from and our relationship to other living things and, and, and how to sort of nurture the planet, as, if you will. The other thing, I, th I think one of the great challenges for science in the future is to understand uh, human behavior. What, what, what is it that um, makes us behave the way we do? You know, so, so, so some animals are very altruistic, if you... If you know what I mean. Um, and, and, and human beings have some aspects of altruism, but also aspects of aggression. And, um, and, 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 and um, you know, understanding, scientifically understanding behavior, what is it that drives our behavior, um, I think is very, uh, going to be very important.